Do you think the whole time we were in this? Embedded dolomite, sandy dolomite, interbedded with quartzite and dolomite quartzite. What if it doesn't say anything about all the Ooh, microbial what's, mass? What's that would be right here. Whoa! I. Oh dear! Turn around. Dolomite crops out so much paler than a lot of the other units. I don't know if we want to walk all the way up to that ridge to find out. So we're now going to a, what, a higher site? So hopefully we'll be able to find the unit. We should be able to walk the this section. Here. Walk all the way up there. So, we've been walking around the side of the canyon. We don't have any geologic maps for it. <laughs> it's been a little difficult trying to figure out what unit we're in. Yeah, although the geologic maps stop at that side of the canyon, you can get a general idea of how they would continue to cross. But we definitely got it up there in that ridge. The problem is we've gone from on this path, yeah. so it's hard to figure out if we should go up or down to get to where These layers are extremely fine. Look how continuous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even those little Sometimes what you have is you have carbon post rock and it gets exposed at the surface. The actual dolomite gets exposed at the surface and the carbonate weathers away, you get cracks. You see these blocky clasts? They're like rip-up clasts of the dolomite. It's like a little conglomerate. It's look clearly. So I think it came from up there. Yeah. 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 They change a lot in their amplitude. There are abundant ripple marks in here. Some of this might be microbial, like this over here. I don't know. Ah. This is tough. I mean, I, it doesn't really look like they're growing. And see, they, they think those are bed forms. Show me something that looks uh, unambiguous. So what we're doing is looking for something that looks like microbial structure. What the fuck is this it doing here? Above, clearly structurally above that unit right below us over there. That is, uh, that, that sort of looks like the dolomite that we originally saw before we went to the kiln. And then we, we passed that border at point, yeah. and that's yeah, right above, above this port side. Yeah. So uh, if we keep going up, yeah. That. Matalites, and then you can see those units as they strike and dip over to the northwest, it continues that way into the valley, and then right up to that ridge. Use for your rock hammer. Got a different rock type here. Completely weathered to this hideously dark reddish brown appearance. You see anything in place? Yeah. No, it's still not quite that fresh. It's really, really weathered. 
another. Look at all these little layers. It's another existing weathered surface. Look at them all. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. yeah. See, I. This, 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 you think that could be anything? I don't know. This is weird. What I is don't this? I so. that, That's where I think I'd say it's like a mud chip. Still a limestone. It's just so weathered and massive. Oh yeah. What's going on there? So these are not exactly planar. Yeah. This looks like we've got some microbial texture in there. Look at that. Oh. They're growing in different directions. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a microbial texture for sure. Look at all. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Wow. That's great. So that's it. I mean, you go to another planet and you see that, and that's your evidence for life. I mean, that's for life right there. Come on. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it just from a photograph and know? Oh my! Especially when it's that obscure. Right. I mean. This is about as subtle as it gets.